welcome back to Gamer 5. Today, once again, we're playing near Onomatopoeia. Let's and go with it. I'm Jess. This is Ned. So let you guys. Jules. And Jules is taking controls this time, and we are about to fight the first boss. Let's do this. All right. Okay, just making sure if I can. I was making sure I couldn't use that command, which is kind of lame. For a second there, I thought there was a stretch button. That'd be interesting. Actually, let's just check one thing real quick. Settings. Damn it. Okay. So we don't have that at, that command. Eh, we'll get you the U ending. Let's my bearings real quick. Wait, are we going to do that one ending? At the end. Okay. There should so. be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? We got a moment. Get a nice little stride. Just in the camera, just about right. And nope. Yeah, get a good shot. I wouldn't bet on that. Where are you gonna take a look at that? Uh, old the animator's hard work. Yeah, well, you know, check out some uh, some nice assets. This game does feature real-time drying physics. I'm not kidding, they do have real-time drawing physics, spe almost specifically for Tubi's ass. No response from long-range Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. So this is that first boss, right? The one yes. That, like, took Jesse forever. I would say forever. And I'm spot-dodging everything they're doing. I'm actually doing stupid shit just to be a little bit more entertaining. Any more near history lessons? Huh. I'm trying to think. I can get a, a good couple fun ones. But, alright. It's not so much a history lesson, but the brutality of the series and how it gets. I've had people describe how brutal Drakengard 3 is by saying that by the time they were finished playing it, certain scenes from Berserk such as Casca's rape, no longer affected them. In fact, they said if they played the game one more time, they would probably enjoy it. What if you enjoyed it from the beginning? Well, you're already a sick, twisted individual, and that game seems to be tailor-made for you. And I'm just loving that I'm abusing the spot dodges. Because I have not activated a recovery yet. We have been hit, right? No. You started with that much health? I started with that much health, thanks to Jesse. You're welcome. Alright, so we're getting into the next transition. And, um... So, do you like, uh, Transformers 2? Target no. enemy detected. Wait, the, I don't the, think anyone does. The Bay movie? Are we about to have, like, robot testicles in our face? Thankfully not that far, but we may see some wrecking balls. You know what pissed me off the most about Transformers 2? Hmm. Uh, that combination of um, Optimus and the... Oh, and Jetfire? Jetfire? Yeah. Was so awesome. I was just like... I may have just been sold on that. And then the fight ends and he just shakes off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was just like wearing, wearing his corpse. And again, it just like falls off like unceremoniously. I was like, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen, and you're just gonna throw it away? Yep. Um, I just... Okay, Transformers... Transformers 2 for a bit. Um, Homicidalist Prime is what a lot of fans refer to that version, like, movie Prime. And... I thought that was in Part 3. Part 3 takes it to the nth degree, but Part 2 gave us the infamous, Give Me Your Face. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that. Um, during the fight when the when he gets um, when he gets ambushed by the Decepticons and he's just taking them out like one like he's just take oh wow I actually took a hit um, he's taking he's just mercilessly taking them out they're trying to kill him it's when it's the scene that leads to his death where they have and then they get the whole stupid subplot of them bringing him back to life because, Robot Jesus. yeah Robo Jesus Robo but not. Okay, fun time. Remember, that, remember the flight units from earlier? 
Well, we gotta wait a little bit longer. But here is our sub character. What's your status? This is the target. I'm going to destroy. And he's gonna be firing us with some cover fire. I'll provide support. Oh, wait, you were saying, uh, Transformer Six. I I love the idea of Optimus Prime just being unabashedly violent. It was just too much fun having this this character who's been portrayed for years as this, you know, dip, a very diplomatic leader. And what do we have? We have Optimus Prime, hero of children, tearing characters' faces off, ripping enemies in half, just not giving a fuck. And then we get to Transformers 3. That sounds seems great. Yeah, that's what really My stomach couldn't handle anything more than two. I saw two and I was like, oh fuck, I almost walked out of the I'm, I'm pissed, so... Uh, Transformers 1, I think I ended up watching at somebody's place. Because uh, obviously I'm not going to pay to watch Transformers. Right. Um, and then uh, Transformers 2, for some for some reason, my friends really wanted to watch that in theaters. I was like, I don't want to watch Transformers. I was like, come on. And they were like, yeah, come on, let's go. Let's just watch it. And um, I was like, all right, fine, whatever, let's go. So I ended up paying to watch Transformers 2 in theaters and I was just like why did we watch this? I, I'm probably I'm going to say this and I'm probably going to be you guys probably give me a dirty look for saying this I saw Transformers 2 on a date so I paid for two tickets so you really didn't want to go on a second date well I'm still with the person so how much have you blackmailed her? <laughs> You're not the same person since high school, you no fuck. You must have a lot of dirt on her then. Like, uh. Let more. It, at this point, it's less dirt and more just bags of manure. Manure? I can't speak. You guys are dicks. <laughs> Joke's still funny, though. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try and just get through this part, because this isn't even the fun part of the fight. I wanna just get to the. It's not being an idiot. But made it this far, so. That's right. The logic in the face. Did he use glitch? Um. Uh. Yeah, he's flipping through the. through the boxes. Wow. Okay. Well. Oh, I can't control the camera like I would want to right now. <laughs> I was gonna give the, I was gonna give people watching a little something, but the game won't let that happen yet. But we're trying. Talking about the this we're, perfect ass that we're not feeling. So there's our wingman. He got fucked up. Goose. Goose. Oh, and our uh, pod needs to stop being stupid. Now, are you singing the original version or the one by Cycle Stick? Did I answer your question? I have to help 9S. Looks like something out of um, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> A little bit. I have to repair him. Pod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the. Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt to feel. So, yeah, he's. Um, he's seen better days. Looks like he's seen better limbs. <laughs> Just go. Will you shut up too? I thought he was gonna like grab her hand and put it on his robot We're dick. Soldiers. Yeah. One last time before I die. Writing of service. Do they have so, eyes? Yes, they do. So remember that flight unit from earlier? They have an interesting Command thing. Six, seven, seven, so, notice the, it, notice the current color. From 9S to 2B. Yeah, it changes white to the leader. Yes, the leaders will end up being white. Yeah, I saw that while during that first part. Yeah. Which is a neat signifier, actually. And it also means that I'm gonna have, that if they ever do release a figure of this, I'm buying it twice. 
Wasn't there like three color variants? No, nah, just the the white for commanders and black for I standard the units. Green one. Uh, if they did that, I'd be screwed because they'd be buying three. All right, so let's get into the the finale for this battle. I'm not doing that. Flying right into the lady? Trying to. Oh, yeah, gotta keep this one close. Oh, distance. That was uh, a really well done spot dodge. It looked more like luck to me, but okay. <laughs> So the other guy's still alive, right? Yeah, he's still on top of there. He's actually giving he's actually giving us support right now. He's pretty useless as a fighter at the moment, but he can at least hack. Okay. I was like, what is he doing with like two limbs? Well, he's gonna do quite a bit because um Well Let's make it a little bit of a surprise what happens next. Uh, I actually have CD um, this fight before, so I know what happens. He grows an extra Venus. So we should first close distance. And here comes the, uh... Yeah. That was luck. I will fully admit, that was luck. So speaking of Homicidal's Prime earlier, we got a, a little fun toy to play with. His arm. Look at it looks like your giant sword goes on your back. I, I really do wonder that. Wonder what? Like how that entire thing would work. Perfect. Uh, you know, considering going through the whole how magic was created in this universe, yeah, it'll work. Um, first episode I made that comment about the protagonist's dragon companion being shot down by the JSDF. Yes. So they harvested the uh, dragon and ended up finding a particle similar to Maso, but it was, uh, um, instead of being white Maso, it was red Maso. They found a way to weaponize it and create magic. Because if science can't explain it, it's magic. And that one they use for tamales. Contact command. Delicious, delicious tamales. Yes. Oh, I could no. probably go for some. It doesn't look like that. Apparently, we're going to Korea for you. Yes. Now, here's the problem. We just we just took down that guy. Well. He has a brother. Oh, and a sister. Oh, great. And a cousin. Yeah, this is the moment you know you're fucked. Family reunion. They're not exactly happy about their uh, currently disabled friend. Listen, the dude's dead. This is going but to well. I still think she can take him. The black box. Well, here's where we get to the cool shit. It's ready. Every one of the the Yorha androids has this little thing right. called a black box. It's their power source. And. They have a little, uh, how should I call it? Last resort. Testing. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box. Everybody who's a fan of Michael Bay, enjoy the, um, the raging boner you're about to have. Explosion? It was an honor to fight with you. Boom. All over the face, neck, and chest? All over the face, neck, and chest. The was mine. We get the whole, like, you get, you get this teen, it's like, oh, the nice touching, like, okay, you know, sacrificial death. And I like that! that like, cheers! <laughs> cheers. Cling! That's the most intense shot I've ever seen. Salancha. Well, we get that, we get that touching little scene, and then, suddenly, she's fine. They're robots. They're magic robots. Yes, they're magic robots. And in her case, with some really nice heels. Among other nice assets. 
So, welcome to the bunker. Alright. So, Let's... we've beaten the boss. We're at about 15 minutes, and we're still we're, kind of crunchy. We're right at the... Oh, wait. It did say save possible in the corner. So, should we continue the scene, or should we um, just reach the end of the game? Special. I want, I want a show. Show me something. Okay, well, you can actually get to the end of the game pretty quickly, and all you have to do is one thing. So, this is your equip the chips. Yes. Uh, so, as you can see, you have uh, one for HUD, for HP, one for skill. Uh, enemy data, mini map, so uh, you can move them around. Yes. And destroy them. Okay. Uh, that is the OS chip, which runs the brains of the robot. Are we gonna delete System Forty Two? <laughs> thirty Two. <laughs> thirty Two. And yes. System Thirty Two has been erased. And yeah. After we go through the uh, the boot up, is it gonna blue screen? Handle with care. Removal of the OS chip will result in death. Credits. That was your <laughs> automata. I was really hoping it would blue screen. <laughs> We're gonna edit in a blue screen. <laughs> that was gamer pie. Well, I think that's a little anticlimactic. No, we'll find a way to to make a blue screen. Well, I mean, there's one other way we could end this. Not on a whimper, but on a bang. All Let's right. go for it. I just gotta see. You know what? We'll do it the fast way. This is your, uh, your, um... This is my personal save file. And we're already on the bunker anyways, so... A little, uh... As loud, whatever the hell's going on outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, that comment. Not on a whimper. Wait. Did it disable the... I swear if it... That's lame. Okay. Not on a whimper. Man, this job can Over be pretty rough sometimes, huh? It sure did look pretty. So we're in the depths of space. The commander still floats with a stern look on your face. I'm really commander hoping he would actually show it. What? Commander 2B? No. So there's someone else known as the commander? Yes. Okay. Is she one of the robot, robot thingies? Well, everybody in your has a robot. Okay. So that was Gamer 5? That was Gamer 5. 